what's up, man? What's going on? So I'm setting up a vacuum infusion process. I've got everything set and clamped off. Yeah, I don't know. My my audience probably doesn't know a whole lot about this sort of job, and I'm relatively new at it. I've been working with fiberglass and carbon fiber for many years, but this is the first time I've ever done a vacuum infusion. So what it amounts to is you set a vacuum bag around the part, and instead of like painting your fiberglass up with a paintbrush and then laying it up and squeezing it in, what you want to do, oh, was it not coming through? Hold on, let me, uh, I'm losing it. What's going on? What do you think, guys? How's the, how's the feed? Is it working? <laughs> so we're, uh, we're setting up this fusion process. Okay, yeah, I turned, I turned it on to my cell phone booster only. I think it was trying to Wi-Fi from the house, so sorry about that. That's just typical Kylo internet shenanigans. I'm all amateur hour over here. So what I was getting at was uh, typically when you do fiberglass, you know, you paint up your resin with a paintbrush, you wet it, you put it wherever it's going to go, you rub the bubbles out. But this is different. This, you lay it up dry. You get all your fiberglass or your carbon fiber or whatever sort of composite, <laughs> the mask corn properly. Hey, this thing's pretty cool. You, you put it on and you, and you can uh, flip it, flip it tight. Yep, yep. This is the new mask. Oh, how do I get out of it? Can't talk very well in it. But what this is, is you lay everything up dry and then you take your, uh, your resin and you pump you in, you got an inlet and an outlet. And I got, I got a camera set up. I'm going to, I'm going to video the process, but in the meantime, when you, when you set your bag up, what you want to do is you want to check your vacuum and make sure that the vacuum is not leaking. So you pull a vacuum on the whole system and you let it sit there for maybe 20 minutes. I don't know, a half hour. And it's been there for a solid 10 minutes now, and it's not changed any at all. It's at negative 23 uh, inches of mercury. So we got a pretty good vacuum pulled on the whole system. And I thought, you know, it ain't very often that I just sit somewhere idle and wait for 20 minutes without doing anything else. So I thought I would do a live feed and uh, talk to you guys and see, see what's going on. You just had a first crash. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, if, you know, crashing's okay as long as you're okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Lay dry, then get it wet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a lot of jokes, guys. We can make a lot of jokes about this, but but I'm new at this, so you know this isn't a how-to or whatever. This is all straight up amateur hour over here. I watched a couple of YouTube videos ordered some stuff off the old internet and uh yeah we're gonna plug it up now i did uh and, oh and what i what am i actually making that's kind of top secret but i'll fill you in i'm making some helmet fairings as you guys probably know i'm the world's best at hanging the uh the paraglider lines on my gopro or my comms or whatever else that I, <laughs> anything that goes by that helmet it grabs so i'm making some helmet fairings that that let the lines like slide across. I did one for the battery pack on the back. I, I vacuumed it up earlier. This is just just a sealed off, uh, that's, that's the actual fairing inside there. That goes around like the rear battery component. It's probably cured. I'm just gonna leave it in this little vacuum bag that I made probably for the next day. I'll open it up tomorrow and see what it looks like. We're starting training in the morning, so that's kicking off for the season. I'm excited about that. Uh, I got the shop basically where it needs to be. I've been working on it all winter. Got the last few little projects, uh, you know, done. So I'm the guy, oh, wait, who's, who's uh, I'm the guy. I'm trying to read the comments and vlog and, and look at this stuff here. Uh, oh yeah, helmet fairings. I'm making helmet fairings, GoPro fairings. I don't, I guess that's what you would call it. Little snag, anti-snaggers, so. Yeah, but I'm sorry, I can't hold the phone and do everything else that I want to do. Try not to shake it to death. This good content when I do it like this, does that make it better? <laughs> oh boy, fun stuff, guys, fun stuff. Yeah, earthquake. Yeah, I don't know. I never felt one in Louisiana. I did feel an earthquake in Arkansas one time. I think it, the center of it was in Oklahoma. It was kind of a I didn't even know what it was. I was sitting on the top of a mountain and I was having my coffee and I was sitting really still and I started swaying like 
Like I was just swaying. I thought maybe it was like, just like you get the, the possum runs over your grave, that sort of thing. And I thought, no, oh, shake it off. Whatever. What the hell are you doing, Kyle? Why are you swinging around up here like this? Thought I was having a nervous breakdown or something. And then my phone started blowing up. Uh, people in Tulsa, like, did you feel that? Did you feel that? It was earthquake. It was earthquake. And I was like, God oh, damn, is that what I felt five minutes ago? I, I maybe. And so I. I looked at the fault line like that runs through and it ran straight towards where I was at. So I'm hundred percent that what I felt on that mountaintop that day was an earthquake. Albeit just a minor little, if I hadn't been sitting perfectly still, I wouldn't even have noticed it. But you know, I'm sitting there holding my cup of coffee and I noticed that I'm swaying. I thought it was a muscular thing. Like I'm having some sort of seizure or some shit. I don't know. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. But I've not poured the resin yet. You know, I'm doing polyester resin. This is just fiberglass. I ain't using epoxy and uh, carbon fiber because this is just a, it's an experiment. This is an experiment. I made the molds for the fairings out of clay and silicone and plaster. And I'm going to make fiberglass. I got a good gel coat on there so I can sand them smooth when it's all said and done. And I'm just going to glue them over to the, I don't know, can you all see the helicopter helmet up here? It's on the little... The little base right right there <laughs> i got it sitting on the top shelf but i'm going to take these fairings if they come out good i'm going to glue them onto the helmet so yeah of course i'm going to show the finished product i've been making a video about the helmet oh i don't know for two months now so i've been you know filming the content but that um when are you going to dump that fake fast skate of a personality you t oh my god we have a main comment here what in the heck Playing dumb, thinking you need to come down to the average person. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Is that a mean comment or not? I don't fake anything. What you see, what you get over here on the Kylo show. That's always been my goal. You can ask my wife if you don't believe me. It's actually, actually, I tone it. I do tone it down. I do tone it down. I'm way worse in real life. Way worse. <laughs> oh, I suck at that. <laughs> But that's the, uh, yeah, that's just the story. That's what we're doing over here. We're doing vacuum resin infusion. I don't know. Let's check our vacuum again. It's been a few minutes. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh, we're still at negative 23 inches of mercury. I believe we've got a good seal. So what I'll do is I'll uh, mix the resin, you know, put my mask on. I got these brand new organic vapor cartridges. These things are nice. I've done a little bit of, of, everybody does it everybody goes out there mixes up a little bit of polyester resin without a mask and it's wrong you're doing yourself a disservice i tried to do the gel coat and do it quick just so i wouldn't breathe much of it it just almost took me out man i, I think i don't know i probably got liver cancer because of it by now but that was about 10 minutes last night so i went all over town today looking for some dang organic vapor cartridges to go on my respirator because mine was shot and i was getting the fumes so Put these on and it's like fresh air inside this mask. When I mix up that polyester resin, I got nothing but just, just the charcoal eats it all before the air gets in me. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy about that. But yeah, I've been making a, the, it's a really funny story. I'll go ahead and tell you since we're doing a live feed now about the helmet. So I'm going to make a, I did an overhaul on my old helicopter helmet. I'd kind of retired it because it wasn't sealing up. The, the ear seals very well anymore. So I wanted to take it apart. I did it all from the inside out, totally broke the helmet down and, and just cleaned every part, readjusted it, replaced broken and uh, worn and degraded stuff. And I put it all back together. And then I started sticking the GoPro and the Velcro and the communicators and all the junk that I had stuck to the helmet. And then it hit me like, well, I should probably put something on here to keep this shit from snagging everything that goes by it. So I did it backwards. I, I had the helmet just in shell form. That's when I should have actually done all this work. I, I probably would have just molded the pieces right onto the helmet. But because I had already reattached the insides and glued the soundproof and foam into it and all this jive, it just got, you know, it was backwards. I did it backwards, but it was on the fly thing as most of the stuff that I do is. I just decided that I would do this after the point when I had rebuilt the inside. So don't give me flack about that when I do produce the regular video that I'm going to make about this. So 
when you are talking, you're not thinking. Yeah, Dave, but if I don't talk, people don't watch. It's kind of boring if I just sit here and think. That does not make good content. I know I make jokes about it, but you have to talk if you're going to make content. And basically, I'm wasting time, so it doesn't matter if I'm talking. I don't have to be thinking right now anyway. So y'all can just deal with it if you think I'm a retard. I know, like, you know, what is it? There's an old Bible verse, I think. It's like the, the fool babbles and then the wise man, like, sits and listens. I don't know. I don't know all my Bible verses, but there's some shit like that out there in the world, and I'm 100% on that. And when it comes time to think, believe it or not, I do shut my mouth. <laughs> you, you, I think you are a psycho. <laughs> okay. You, you're entitled to think whatever you want. That's all good and dandy. <laughs> I, got, I got a poster of Einstein right over here at the shop. Or somebody, It's on the wall. That's behind the letter. You can't see it. I got a lot of stuff out here in the shop. I'm just old shop monkey. Flying addicted person. I don't know what you'd call it. That's okay. There's lots of stuff on the internet if you don't want to watch me talk to you. So that's all good. Don't feed the troll. <laughs> I don't know what else is to do on a Tuesday night. You know, I ain't, I ain't drinking. So making a video, doing a vacuum infusion, checking the vacuum. That's what we're doing tonight. So I'm glad that the few of you that are up on Tuesday night join me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am drinking. I am drinking. I'm drinking some best choice purified drinking water. It's pretty good. I know that that's good content right there. Let's make some more, huh? You see? See, is that good? See, the content sucks. If you don't talk, the content sucks. That's, uh, that's just how it is. But thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I believe I'm gonna put all this mask up, put this phone down, and uh, I don't know. Do y'all do y'all want to see this? Let's take a vote. Do you guys want me to like set the phone up over here on the side, and then y'all watch me fail at this infusion process? <laughs> I'll give it a go. That might be some pretty boring, terrible content, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess if you guys want to watch it, I'll uh, I'll put it on here. It, it is going to be kind of boring, so let me just talk you through the process. I feel sorry for the people that chime in after I set the phone over there on the shelf because that's going to be, that's gonna, like, what the hell is he doing? Is he cooking meth? <laughs> no, it's probably more dangerous than cooking meth, the stuff that I'm messing with over here. Uh, so what it's going to amount to is... Um, it's set up. I've actually glued a cup to the side of this box right here because you, what you don't want is after you stick the pipe down in there and you start your infusion, you don't want to uh, pull an air bubble into it because if the air bubble gets vacuumed into the part, then it ruins the infusion. That much I learned from YouTube. So I've got this cup hot glued to the side of a box so it won't tip over. I'm going to mix up the polyester resin and then I'm going to come over here dump it in the cup and you've only got about six to eight minutes whenever you mix the polyester resin so it's a time sensitive thing you gotta have everything set up pretty good before you actually start moving if you go mixing your stuff and then realize like oh shit i got no way to put this on the you know whatever so we're gonna get all that set up i think i'm gonna hot glue the tube to the cup and then once i pour the resin in there i'll unblock the seal and we're gonna suck that resin right up inside of this uh just vacuum bag helmet fairing mold that I've created over here. I didn't actually weigh the fiberglass. You're supposed to weigh the fiberglass and then mix enough resin so that it's like 1.3, 1.5 the weight of fiberglass that you'll have. Uh, have you ever tried to make your own carbon fiber? <laughs> no comment, Josh Perry. <laughs> no comment. It's, we'll talk about that in a future video for sure. Uh, I do I do repair props all the time, so it's just minor little step further if I wanted to produce one. That may or may not be coming. Let's see. So yeah, let me think through it here. I'll set the camera up, and then I'm also going to try to video it. That's another thing. You know, when you start throwing a camera on stuff, then uh, yeah, that that introduces a whole new level. Then you're doing two things at once, and so you're no longer just doing the vacuum infusion process. 
you're doing a vacuum infusion process and making a video about a vacuum infusion process. So there's that. I've got my scale all set up over here. We are uh, ready to pour out the resin. Oh, look, I need to tear it here. Let's tear it. So I'll pour the resin and then I'll calculate. Let's see, what's the temperature in the shop? It's 69 degrees. That means I'm going to use a one and a half percent catalyst inside the resin. So I'll pour up however much I think is going to be enough. Calculate how much one and a half percent is. And then I'll put that much catalyst inside the resin. And then I'm going to stir it for a solid couple of minutes. Pour it. Turn on the vacuum. And then we'll let her rip. So let's find a place to set up the camera. And then y'all can just, you know, be bored watching me put her around in the shop out here. Let me find a good vantage point here. What should we, uh, man, I guess I should, oh, there's a ladder. Let's get this, set the phone up on a ladder here, huh? That might be good. That way you can kind of look at it from a, a better perspective. Put it right over here by this other camera. Oh. Put it where I can trip right over it, right? <laughs> All right, and I've got some neat little, uh, I got some clay. I'm going to use, make a little, little prop up with this, uh, modeling clay. And we're going to put the phone right up here on it. Stick that to the ladder here. Make a nice little tripod to, uh, to put the phone on. And let's do it like that and like that. Like this. Hmm. Let's figure out if this is going to work here. And I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to let y'all look at it from the good side. Yeah, this camera has a good side and a bad side. Okay, there's a button here that flips it around. There it is, right there. Okay, there we go. So, vacuum infusion process. All righty then. Let's get to it. I think we've got it set up. So, I'm going to put this camera... Oh, get it set up. So all I gotta do is push record on it whenever it's time. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this camera to video the, uh, like zoom in and you kind of video the, the stuff creeping in through the sand. I don't know, maybe a total fail. We'll give it a shot though. Set my focus. Okay, all that looks good. Now, you know what? I think I'm just gonna hot glue the, uh, Hot glue the tube into the cup here. A little dab there. Put it in there. Okay. I'll make some really good content here. Because you got to hold it in there for a couple of minutes to get it to uh, stick where you want it. I guess I could use tape. Do I have incoming? I hear. I don't have incoming. There's there's tail lights. No, that's somebody departing. I don't know. There's movement in the yard. I can see out the front window there. Okay, is it gonna hold? No, probably not. I'm gonna use tape. I got some tape over here. Let's try that. Do some tape to the back up here. All right. Okay, infusion cup is set. Now, yeah, let me show you how this mask works. It's pretty neat. You just take this and you flip it down. Just have to come back later and read the comments. <laughs> All right. We're going to figure out how much resin we need. grams of resin. That should be enough. If it ain't, then I just, I suck. Y'all can tell Dave about it. 
Alright. Do a little calculation here. I calculate on camera. You ever seen a man calculate before? Uh, it feels kind of like work. 0.78 times 0.015. Four and a half grams. About to get stinky in here. Got to cut our uh, little methyl ethyl ketone catalyst here. M E K. That's what it stands for. Methyl ethyl ketone. Come on. Come on. Oh, I heard my phone beep. Is my battery going to die? Let's see. Yeah, here. Let me. I got a backup. Let me turn on the battery here. All right. We got, we're charging again. All right. Good stuff. Yeah, if anybody shows up and asks what's going on, y'all fill them in, okay? I know there's a probably a nice live chat going on, I hope. Or maybe there's like only nobody left watching because this is shitty content. We'll see. I'll go back and read the live chat later. We'll have a conversation about it. Alright, very open there. Four and a half grams of catalyst. Turn on our vacuum. Set going. Ready for action. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, and now we stir. Let's stir, scrape the sides, all that stuff. Woo! If I wasn't wearing this mask, it would be real strong. Guaranteed. Let's start it for a solid minute or two. Good content, yeah? <laughs> oh boy. Epoxy is actually, I like to work with epoxy better. But because I've got a gel coat on here, I don't want to mix up two different kinds of chemicals. I want to keep the the chemistry the same. So I'm using fiberglass resin. Plus, I had an old can over there. I needed to use it up. It's probably going to go bad sometime in the next year. So I went ahead and used mo most of that. Good stuff. Probably cheaper, too. I ain't priced it in a while, but... I imagine that this stuff is cheaper than infusion epoxy. Infusion epoxy, I just bought a gallon of it because I do have some bigger projects coming up. I think it's $100 for a gallon and a half of, you know, just some off-brand and uh, thin, thin, uh, you gotta get low viscosity. High viscosity doesn't infuse very well. Go. 
Stop that in there. <laughs> Push the cord here. Zoom out, maybe. All right, here we go. It's infusing. Hey, I'll check this out. Seems to be going. It may not be going fast enough. We're going to see. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to creep in right there at the edge. I do have some infusion media in there. I don't know. And again, this may be a total fail. If it is, that's okay. We'll set it up and do it again. Tough to say what's going on. It may end up getting hard before it's done at this rate. We're going to find out. Whew. Yeah, very slow going. This makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. I like that stuff kind of slipped a little. Golly, it's moving real slow. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Who knows? He's going through in the bottom there pretty good. I got a big piece of infusion media in there. Like I said, this is my first time, so we're going to, uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. It's kind of like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> Fun stuff. It is moving. I just fear that it's not moving fast enough. What do y'all think? Are we taking bets? Are we going to take some bets to see, uh... <laughs> Who knows?
All right. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. It, it may be a fail. Like I say, this is my this is my first time. First time doing something like this. So sometimes there's a most of the time there's a learning curve on projects like this. Very often you don't get it right the first time. So you know that's why we do it. All it takes is you know a little time, a little money. We'll figure it out. Like I say, the mold's reusable, so that's not a big deal. The uh, oh yeah, I, I blocked the dude that was making all the shitty comments. I guess some people just got nothing better to do with. Them. I don't know. I guess there was a fight whenever I was gone too. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It may be a bust. We gonna see. We gonna see. I, honestly, I don't. I don't think it's infusing fast enough. I think it's gonna kick before it gets done. Bummer. Bummer. That's okay. That's okay though. I'll uh let's say it's probably probably ten dollars worth, fifteen dollars worth of materials that would go down if it doesn't work. So yeah, sucks joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I mean yeah, <laughs> Ian, you ever messed around with any vacuum infusion stuff? <laughs> I figured you would be a guy that, that knows a little something about that. Uh, uh, uh. Super Dale, he'll be back. This shop looking nice. Yeah, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not moving the way I wish that it would. So, yeah, that's all right. We're making a, uh, we're making helmet fairings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm about 50-50. This is going to be a, uh, this is, oh, cool. Carbon fiber. Yeah, I think carbon fiber would actually be a little bit easier because, you yeah, the epoxy is thinner. It flows a little better. All uh, that kind of stuff. So, the table starts it better. Yeah, yeah, I just did a bag around the thing. The mold was kind of an odd shape, so I figured bagging it all the way around is going to be good. So it's the progression in the mold. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know that I would call that progression. It was more like fail central to me. <laughs> We've only emptied about half the cup. So I don't know, man. I don't know. It ain't even making it over to the other side. <laughs> Live and learn. Live and learn. We'll let it go as far as it'll go. And then we'll go from there. So. I'm going to put the phone down though. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll walk outside here. It feels weird talking with the mask. Nothing I can do with that right there, but let it go at this point. And then, uh... Um, Yucko. Fun times. Oh, I can smell it out here. <laughs> it's, it's strong in there. The smell is strong. <laughs> Fun times, so... It's kind of cold outside, though. Good heavens, it's probably 40s. Feels like it's 40s out here. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny and like 60 something tomorrow. So there'll probably be some flying involved if that's the deal. I wanted a Kylo patented haircut. Where were, oh, you can get these for free probably. I bet they don't cost very much. I just give the, uh, I just give the old gal $20 because I like her and uh, she cuts it. So <laughs> careful of electrical sparks. Yeah, all you infusion wizards out here, you know, what, what do I do? What do I do to fix that? I'm thinking just a little more flow media, a little more inlets, a little more outlets, you know, something like that. Don't know. We'll see what's up. Mixers are so bad. Oh, 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 you know what? Going outside, we probably got no service. Let's go right here. Did it, did it clear up? We'll get by the glass here. I didn't want to go inside again because I can't breathe in there, but... <laughs> I didn't have any busted pipes. The pool exploded, but uh, uh, 
Fun times. Fun times. All right, guys, it's getting pretty lame. If I go back in there where there's good service, then um, I can't talk very much. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna turn the phone off. We'll go. <laughs> you guys will see the whole video coming one day soon, probably six months from now. We'll we'll get that dude in the editor and get it out there. But till then, we're gonna uh, we gonna cut it here, guys. I hope you like the um, spur of the moment live content. So, I guess everybody liked it, but Dave. So y'all enjoy it. Keep it real. Catch you guys real soon. Next time. What's up? Kyle out.